Hi, my name is Glenn Cartwright. I'm the nursery manager and a horticulturist here at the Glasshouse Nursery. What I want to talk to you about today is pruning. Basically, it's been a pretty wicked winter with the Arctic vortex and so on. It's been pretty hard on a lot of our trees and shrubs. But you know, there's a lot you can do at this time of year. I'm going to go through some of the examples of doing some mulching and pruning that you can get out in the garden and do right now. So this shrub right here is a spirea. Now the general rule of thumb is, if it flowers early in the season, then you don't want to prune it first thing in the spring. If it flowers a little later in the season, such as this spirea, that means it's a late spring or early summer flowering, it's quite okay to go ahead and prune it now. And all I'm going to do with this one, it's very, very dense. You can see some old flower, dead flower heads from last season. I'm going to use these head shears and I'm going to go through this and prune off about 40 or 50% of this shrub. And that's quite safe for the shrub that's this dense and, and it reaches maturity. And all you have to do is go in, bearing in mind that you're going to take about, oh, I don't know, 25, maybe 30% off. And you want to kind of prune it to the shape that it had when we started. So there you have it. You see, I've just taken off about 30%. I retain the nice round shape of the shrub. It's all set now. It'll start growing back out again and flower all over for you in early summer. Spring's another great time for doing mulching. You can go ahead and kind of freshen up the mulch in your garden beds right now. Once the frost is going to mulch come out of the ground, all of your perennials, you'll see they've been pruned back here and tidied up. Your spring flowering bulbs will come right up through the mulch. Won't cause any problems whatsoever. And you got a jump and you're kind of ahead of the game. So what we're doing here is we're just putting a nice, fresh layer of pine mulch on the bed, getting ahead of the weeds. And like I say, all your spring flowering bulbs and your perennials will come right up through the mulch. So it's something you can do now before it's really warm out. Get the mulch on, I'm gonna use my hands to spread it out a little bit. If you do use a rake, be very careful. You don't wanna pull the tops off of any fresh growth on your perennials or your flower bulbs that might be starting to come up now like daffodils and tulips. Two or three inch layer of fresh mulch. Looks really nice. Helps to seal the moisture in the ground. And like I said, the most important part is you're doing it before the weather gets too hot. You're getting a jump on all those weeds. One other thing we get a lot of questions about every spring is how do I prune my ornamental grass? Well, you can see this zebra grass is stood up beautifully all winter long. It's nice and brown. But at this time of year, it's just perfect for pruning these down. You want to prune this down to about, you know, three or four inches off the ground. I'm going to show you a little trick that we use. We're going to tie this with a length of string first, and we're going to kind of cinch the base of the plant so this makes it a lot easier for cutting. All I'm doing is I'm taking a length of string that'll fit all the way around the plant. I'm going to wrap the string around the plant and pass it through the loop. I'm just going to twist this back and forth and pull this plant really nice and tight. All right, now we've got the string on there. It's cinched nice and tight. We can just take our shears and go in and go ahead and start cutting this plant down to the size we want. Just a few more cuts and there you go. The sunlight now can penetrate down. Warm up the crown, gets lots of light, lots of moisture, starts growing back up again. In this case, to another six foot zebra grass. So what we have right here is a hydrangea paniculata. I think this one's limelight. Now if you've got a hydrangea paniculata, this is a perfect time for pruning it back. And if it's established, you can cut that plant back by about half, just by removing the dead or the dried branches like so on. And there we go. Just pruning back individual branches here because these are a little bit hard to do with the head shears. Now, if you prune back the hydrangea paniculata is really hard, what happens is you end up with really massive flower heads when they begin to bloom. If you only prune it back by a little bit, you'll still get nice flower heads. They're only about half this size. There'll just be more of them on the plant. So why not cut them back about 50%, they'll go right back out again and produce really massive big cone shaped flower heads for you in mid to late summer. Rose bushes are another thing that very easy to prune early in the spring. We're coming out of a really, really bad cold winter, and most rose bushes are probably going to show a lot of winter dieback. And what has happened is, of course, the bitterly cold wind has just kind of dried out the plant, and a lot of it has to be removed. In this particular instance, this rose bush is a few years old. It's well established. I'm going to use my hand pruners first, or my secateurs, to come in, and I'm going to start pruning back 
but I'm going to use the secateurs to cut the really heavy wood that you can't get with the, uh, the head shears. Like this right here is really much too big to, to prune with the head shears. So we're going to take the heavy canes out first using the hand secateurs. And then we'll come back later on and tidy it up a little bit using the shears to kind of shape it up. In established rows, you can cut back by 50% quite easy without causing any problems in terms of its growth and rejuvenation. So basically just open the rose bush up. In this case, it's a knockout rose. This rose bush will start growing from dormant buds behind the cuts, fill out rather rapidly. It'll be a little bit later flowering than normal, but that's okay because it's gonna come back twice as thick and when it does, it'll have hundreds of blooms on it. All because you did a nice early pruning this spring.